excuses over sacrifice. What do I mean by that? What I mean is like many people do not fight the excuses. Many people have a mindset that literally the first option is an, an excuse. Many people do not take sacrifice to do a good habit. And if you do, then you're a disciplined person. What I'm trying to say is, people these days do not want to try. So, what they do is let themselves go, do the bad habits, and let the excuses control them. Versus a guy that takes sacrifice, always fight the excuse. First thing in the morning, wake up. I gotta go run. I'm not going back to bed. So you gotta learn how to have a positive mindset to fight the excuses. So today we're about to talk about excuses over sacrifice. So let's get started. The first one's gonna be your routine. What do you do every single day? Is it the same thing every single day, or is it? Depending on what people want you to do, or it depends on it depends on what you're working on. So, if you have a good routine, you wake up, you go for a run, you um, go to college, you go to work, whatever. But it's what it's when you come back home. What do you do? The first thing is you're probably tired, so your excuse is going to be. Go in the cover and grab junk food, or it could be film a video, edit, and I'm gonna go for a run. We really do not try to fight the excuses, because the excuses always pops up first. The excuse is always gonna be your first option in your mind. So if you ever feel down or tired, everyone. Feels tired, but don't let that as your excuse always that you're tired. Cause if you're a tired person, then you're not disciplined, and it's like you do not change nothing about it. You do not run, you do not exercise, you do not eat healthy. Then it's gonna be the same every single year. If your routine really makes you feel good. And it's not the same thing every single day, but it makes you feel good, and your self improvement on yourself. Then you're always gonna have sacrifice and to feel good. So whatever you do in your routine, you gotta make sure that you're always taking sacrifice, doing something that's hard, or doing something that will make you feel good. You literally gotta fight every excuse in the morning, in the day, in the noon, and all that at night. Go sleep early at night. So, if you have a good routine, you will practice how to fight excuses. You will have a positive mindset. So that's the first one, your job. And you can like your job, whatever. But depending on what you do for your work, and depending on what time you get out of work, it can make you tired, and it can make you like I wouldn't say depressed. But the excuses to do something like lay down, watch Netflix, and not do nothing at all. Whatever you do for your job can make you feel tired and just watch TV. It's just true. It just if you have a second job, which is not working like for someone, but it's like working online, um, hitting the gym and editing videos. Then it's gonna be hard, depending on what time you get out. But it could be easy if you find the excuses and you do it every single day. So, your job, whatever you do for your job, 
can make you a non-disciplined person. The reason why is because you feel tired already. You feel like you're walking all the time, and you get sore from that. And because you're not an active person, it's going to be social media. So the thing about social media is obviously your addiction. TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram. Those three are absolute addiction. Probably Facebook as well for adults. But when it comes to those apps, those are addictions. Those are the things that you should be deleting. Like those should be already gone when you're focused on doing something. So the thing about social media, the people there they don't care about you. All all they care about. Is trying to get your mind to focus on them. Whatever they doing, they're making sure that you're not doing something better than them. Oh, hey, look, I'm hanging out with my friends. Um, I'm at a uh, a yacht. I'm in the pool. Who cares? Like, literally, people these days do not care about you on Instagram or Snapchat. Especially Snapchat, because they're depressed behind the screen. They're not happy. They just want attention and support. You hear me? So, social media can make you really depressed, and I encourage you to delete it. Because, and I hope I don't get canceled or banned for this, but I mean it's true. Literally, social media only. It's good if you're making something out of it, like a business,、um, TikTok videos. You can gain money from it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you guys take knowledge from it. I hope you actually do the things I tell you and take sacrifice over excuses. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get to it.